Alrighty, so we're going to do a few minutes of meditation together. And I've already done my meditation prior to this recording for you, but it's going to reach me again as I guide you. And I say that to you so that you understand that your meditation will reach others around you, even if there's no one else sitting down with you. Your peace will ripple out to somebody else and smooth something out for them. Your focus will be like an energy that just sort of pulls somebody else with you to get into alignment of a stronger focus where you're simply more present. More present to the day, more present to driving, more present to what you eat, more present to what you say. And most of all, more present to the way you're thinking. I want to begin this meditation by asking you to just take a few simple exhalations. So instead of breathing in, I want you to open your mouth and I want you to breathe out. In fact, take your right hand in front of your face or your left hand, if that's the hand you write with, whatever's dominant. Bring the hand up to the face, open your mouth really wide, and exhale right into that palm of your hand. It's as if you're fogging up a mirror. Take a nice easy breath in. Open your mouth really wide, clear out the carbon dioxide, the tension and the contraction that closes off your mind. One more time. You need not feel silly. You've been breathing your whole life, but most of us don't exhale with any length. Make that exhalation as long and as slow as possible. Fog your hand up. When you make your exhalations a little slower, your inhales come in a little more smoother, a little calmer. When you push out the exhalation like you're in a hurry or like you're in a panic, the way you take in air will be like fighting for your life. Exhaling is also going to open your mind up and open you up to be in a space where we drop down a little bit and connect to something other than the thoughts. I'm going to read this very short passage to you as a segue into why we're meditating. Gravity is related in a way to the fundamental instinct of self-preservation in a human being. And we are rooted to the planet right now because of that gravity. We have a body today only because of gravity. See, gravity is trying to hold you down. And grace is a force trying to lift you up. As gravity is active, grace too is constantly active. It is just that you have to make yourself available to it. With gravity, you have no choice. You're available to it anyway. And if you're someone very identified with the physical, gravity is all you will know. But with grace, you have to make yourself receptive. And whatever kind of spiritual practice you do, ultimately, you're just working toward making yourself available to grace. We're meditating so we can take some of the heavy, rigid, narrow, smaller, fearful, worried, tense, hurried, busy, frantic, scared state of mind. And even sleepy state of mind. 
because if we're not very physical or if we're overloaded with so much and can't ever take a break to even just have an exhalation or get fresh air, it'll dull the mind. <clears throat> if the thoughts we have are think worth thinking them over and over, it'll dull the mind. Bringing yourself to sit down with me and meditate as a practice only. You can't fail. And it's just a practice. And over time, it trains your mind to shift out of something other than the, the adjectives I just described. And once you've done a little meditation, and maybe it's been a while, or you're brand new, but once you've done some with some consistency, you do start to have an awareness that you don't think maybe as positively or you don't feel as focused or you're not feeling as good. You'll recognize, oh, I'm wow, actually more uptight or, you know, I'm more worried like I used to be or anxious, 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 big one. But we practice You're used to your thinking mind a certain way. I'm used to mine a certain way. And we're just going to practice tapping into a deeper part of ourself. And perhaps over time, it changes the game on the way you think, which always will have you feeling the exact state of your thoughts. So worried thought, worried physical feeling in the body. Agitated thought, there's probably a feeling of tightness in the chest, in the body. Um, We're just going to see what we can do to bring some more balance and peace and serenity to your state of mind. Let's begin. I want you to go ahead and I'd like you to sit comfortably, cross-legged or feet on the floor. You can sit on the floor. I'm on the floor. You can sit in a chair. You can lay down. You might get sleepy. You might fall asleep. Maybe your body needs to sleep and I believe you'll still receive something from the meditation. It'll work on you while you're dozing off. So just be comfortable as much as you can. If your low back is tight, if your hips are tight and it's not comfortable to sit, you need to prop something under your bum. I've got a pretty big giant pillow that says wild and free. (laughs) So that's my throne this morning. You can do this meditation at any point. Get yourself comfortable so that your hips are higher than your knees. Okay, bring your 10 fingertips to touch. Just your 10 fingertips to touch and just very easily bring your arms into your lap. Rest them on the tops of your thighs. If you feel uncomfortable if you, by closing the physical eyes, I'd like you to keep your eyes open and just stare right now down at your thumb tips touching. Just your thumb tips. All ten fingers are together, but just the thumb tips touching. There's nothing to think about, and that's the tricky part. All I'm asking is to physically see your thumb tips touching. And then I want you to just soften your eyes, soften your stare. And when you soften some part of the body, the mind can soften too. Your physical eyes are on your thumb tips. Can you physically feel your thumb tips touching? If you say no, doesn't mean you're a screw up. 
It just means you probably have a lot going on in your mind. Take in a breath, please. Open your mouth as if you're fogging up that mirror in front of you. Just envision a mirror and fog into it. By releasing the exhalation as much as you possibly can, you'll drop yourself more into your physical body. You're in your body, I'm in my body all the time, but normally we aren't, we're tethered up in our head. Life's not happening in our head. It feels like it though, right? You can really collapse in the think tank, but life's happening out here where your thumbs are. Life's happening right out here where your thumbs are. Just tune in to the physical feeling. That's how the body talks to us, through feeling. When our head is jam-packed, or when we've shut ourselves off from feeling, it can be difficult to trust it, let alone even have a space, a receptivity to tune in. Your physical thumb tips are still touching. Your hands will probably be busy the rest of the day or evening. This is an opportunity for you to put the brakes on to every other part of life and see your thumb tips touching. Feel that there's an energy in your thumb tips. There's a pulsation. Maybe there's heat, warmth. Maybe a buzzing, maybe a tingling. You're just concentrating your mind like as if your thoughts were all over the place. You're just shutting down that system of the way you think normally and you harness all the energy of concentration to just your physical thumb tips touching. So the thumb tips are an anchor to pull you, pull your mind to a single pointed focus. Just focus on your thumb tips right now. If your mind starts to think about something else, it's used to that patterning. You just bring your attention back by physically just feeling your thumb tips touching. When you physically feel your thumb tips touching and you get really pulled into that, Physically feel your thumb tips touching. Sometimes our ego mind says, I want to jump to this thought. I want to jump to that. And if you have a lot of thoughts coming in very often with very little space in between them, this is going to be awesome for you because it's going to create a gap. It's going to create room between your th usual thoughts. And it's in that gap. That grace can access us. We make room for meditation to find something, to feel something other than our mental day-to-day -day mind. Thumb tips are physically touching.
as the physical thumbtips touch and your mind gets quieter, you will feel the physical connection stronger. When you're not really present, or when your mind's kind of here, there, and everywhere, which is totally normal, if you're just starting out or it's been a while, it's totally normal. Meditation just reveals your state of mind. But you kind of pay no mind to that. And by that, I mean, add no more story to that. Just sort of like acknowledge it and drop back down to physically feeling your thumb tips touching. Take a long breath in. Pause your breath at the top of your lungs. Exhale out. See if you can go and stretch your breath out to a count of six or eight. Let your breath come in nice and slow on its own while your concentration is just harnessed, locked and loaded at your physical thumbs touching. Can you see how quieting down your mind and giving it only one thing to focus on and slowing it down is going to give you a space to have perhaps just more connected to something more than just your surface thinking or surface head chatter. You quiet the mind by giving it only the thumb tips to focus on. For today, for today, let this be just exactly enough. The physical thumb tips, your physical thumb tips. So it's very personal. It's your physical thumbs. When we're disconnected, to what we're doing, to the way we're thinking, to disconnected to how we're feeling. Everything can feel really detached and impersonal. It's like there's no connection. I'm looking at my actual thumb tips right now and you just channel that focus into your own thumb tips. It's not generalized, it's Meditation will personally have an impact on you, on your personal way of thinking. The way we think has a vibration. So if you're anxious, if you're worried, if you're in fear, if you're consumed with stress and tension and you feel like it never lets up, then then you're going to feel the effects of that physically, you know, knotted stomach, tight chest, I can't breathe, um, maybe struggling to sleep at night, whatever, you know, we're all human and we're all affected by stress, tension, anxiety in our own personal way. So if you just pay attention the rest of today, Perhaps to some of the ways you're thinking, some of what your inner quiet, silent self-talk is. And then just ask yourself, what, you know, just envision like a, I don't know, a barometer or like a, a scale. Is this, envision a bank deposit slip and a withdrawal slip. Is this a thought that's actually positive is this helping me is this making me feel any better does this help me to feel any more confident in myself does this help me to believe 
that, you know, things can be good. If not, you'll know. You'll know by the way you feel. Look at the way you think and you'll know how you're feeling. So we pull you out of some of that merry-go-round, some of that loop. And we just kind of examine a little bit, just like you're a witness, not a judge. Your inner self-talk has everything to do with the way you're going to feel, has everything to then do with the way you'll respond. Your physical thumb tips are touching. Take a breath in. Open your mouth, fog up the room. (sighs) Bring your palms together in prayer and put your thumbs right there at your forehead center. I'd like you to just silently say to yourself, I'm resetting to zero. Today, or if it's late in the day, you're going to call a do-over on the day. So your evening can be a little better, a little more calmer, peaceful, whatever. I'm resetting to zero. Bring your thumbs to your heart space. Press in. I'm going to relax a bit and reset to zero emotionally. Tell yourself that. From that space internally of something for hopefully just even a little bit smoothed out. You're not looking to master this. You're just looking to show up fully and just let the practice work on you. If you feel a little better, share this. If you want personal instruction one-on-one, reach out. Find me on Facebook at Amy L. Daron Refuge Yoga or H-Y-G-G-E-G-I-R-L 71 at gmail.com. It's pronounced Hooga Girl. Thanks for joining.